Prior to application, determine the appropriate sizing zone by taking the patient's waist measurement at the navel. Pull out both dials to release the compression lacing. Open the front hook and loop closure to open the brace belt completely. If the brace comes configured with lateral panels, fold them inward towards the compressed foam soft goods or remove them during sizing. Place the brace face down with the DeRoyal embossed privacy panel facing up. Ensure the belt arms are spread out completely and non-impinged. Unfasten the back panel hook closure and flip over the back panel and belt arms to reveal the brace sizing adjustment mechanism. Pull up on the two belt security hook flaps located on each side of the adjustment mechanism until they reach a 45 degree angle from the belt. Place one hand under the belt pull strap near the indicator and use the other hand to pull straight upward on the belt pull strap until the appropriate size zone is reached. Ensure the sizing zones are even on both sides and secure the belt security hook flaps. Fold excess belt fabric down evenly and press down firmly. Flip the back panel and belt over, reattach the back flap hook closure at the top of the back panel and press firmly along the securement strip. If the brace comes configured with lateral panels, reinstall them by securing the integrated hook strip to the side flap of the soft goods. Anchor the lateral panel using the hook strip on the back of the lateral panel to the loop strip on the interior part of the belt. The brace will come with the DLE already set up in the brace. To adjust the DLE height, place the brace face down with the DeRoyal embossed privacy panel facing up. Ensure the belt arms are spread out completely and non-impinged. Unfasten the back panel hook closures and flip over the back panel and belt arms. Remove the DLE from the posterior panel and adjust higher or lower as necessary to fit the patient. Position the DLE so that the yoke of the shoulder straps align with the C7 of the patient. Once height adjustment is complete, press firmly along the back of the DLE to anchor securely. Fold the back panel and belt over, reattach the back flap hook closures at the top of the back panel, and press down firmly on the securement strip. Roll the patient onto their side. Place the brace in the middle of the patient's back with the bottom of the posterior panel just above the sacrum. Tuck the belt under the patient's side so it is retrievable on the opposite side. Roll the patient back into the supine position and retrieve the belt from under the patient. Wrap the left side of the belt around the patient and place it just above the pubic bone. Close the belt by wrapping the right side around the patient and securing evenly to the loop section on the left side of the belt. Push in both BOA dials and turn clockwise evenly to provide compression. With the brace under the patient in supine position, place the DLE straps above the patient's head. Bring each strap down and anchor it to the posterior panel. The straps can be anchored in each of the three zones labeled A, B, C in the posterior panel to achieve varying degrees of lordotic immobilization. After the DLE straps are anchored, wrap the brace belt around the patient and secure the anterior panels. Tighten the BOA dials by turning clockwise evenly to provide compression. After the appropriate belt compression is achieved, tighten the DLE using the excess strap under the patient's arm. Position and secure the chest strap and tighten as necessary. If needed, the chest strap can be removed by sliding each side up and off the tubing of the DLE strap. Adjust the SPK by pinching the adjustment mechanism on the anterior panel and lowering the sternal pad. With the brace under the patient and in supine position, retrieve the anterior panel and SPK and place it on the patient so the anterior panel is just above the pubic bone. Align the sternal pad to approximately three to four inches below the sternal notch. Wrap the left belt arm around the patient and secure evenly to the hook section on the anterior panel. Close the belt by wrapping the right belt arm around the patient and securing evenly to the loop section of the left belt arm. Push the BOA dials in and provide compression by turning clockwise evenly. Retrieve the SPK straps and clip into the sternal pad. Straps can be placed above or below the shoulders. 
Tighten the straps by removing the hook strip, pulling tighter, and resecuring the hook strip to the strap. Straps can be trimmed to ensure a more appropriate and customized fit. Remove the double-sided hook from the extension panel and place it on the gray loop of the left belt arm. Secure each belt arm to the appropriate zone on the extension panel. Push in the BOA dials and turn clockwise to provide compression. The lateral panels can be trimmed for a more appropriate and customized fit. Use scissors to cut along the trim channels in the middle of the lateral panels. Ensure there are no sharp edges and re-secure to the brace. To disengage the PTE, gently lift under the tab labeled Lift and pull the PTE up and out. To re-engage the PTE, place the lift tab on the outside of the posterior panel and the feet of the PTE in the anchor ports and press down to lock into place.